It is springtime in Maine, and that means we're starting to see more ticks. Lyme disease is more prevalent here than in any other state. According to the CDC, Maine had the highest number of Lyme disease cases per capita. The state saw 121 cases per 100,000 people in 2019, which was the last year of the data recorded. And from 2010 to 2019, the CDC says case numbers of the disease in Maine went up by 288%. Experts say tick bites are already up this year and this will likely lead to more infection. Now, May is Lyme Disease Awareness Month, and the summer season that will follow carries the highest instances of tick bites each year. Maine has seen record rates of Lyme disease in recent years as tick populations expand farther north. New Center Maine's David Guilford met today with researchers who are tracking these bloodsuckers. Scientific research can be dirty work. This leaf litter will actually be kind of protective for the ticks and provide like an insulating blanket. Especially when you're dealing with one of the most hated members of the animal kingdom. Chuck Lubelzik is a vector ecologist for the Maine Medical Center Research Institute. With a corduroy sheet, he scours the woods in each county. So right there. Looking for ticks to catch and bring back to the institute in Scarborough. And we grind them up. Dr. Rebecca Robish tests the ticks for pathogens like Lyme disease. Different areas are coming up with a higher percentage of infection rates uh, the further north that you go, and that's probably due to the fact that the deer tick is expanding northward. In 2019, the CDC confirmed over 1,600 cases of Lyme disease in Maine, the highest incidence rate in the nation. Lubelzik explained ticks thrive when the spring is mild and the summer is humid. As our climate changes, the researchers have found populations expanding north and biting later. We have a longer tick season now because of climate-related stuff. And, and previously, you know, you don't generally think about December as being a time that you have to worry about ticks. But at least in southern Maine, you do in a lot of years now. Fellow ecologist Susan Elias has been tracking this expansion. So with earlier snow melt, you get bare ground. And this is helpful to ticks because they need to quest for a blood meal. If this spring is dry, Lou Belzik said, it could be a slow year for ticks. If we get enough rain, however, the quest for a blood meal could be stronger than ever. In Scarborough, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. The researchers encourage Mainers to send ticks to the UMaine Tick Lab to be identified and tested. Maine residents get their ticks checked for free.